Bonjour Blessed Monday to all of you. Bon début de semaine. I hope that you all feel great to begin another school week. And in two days, we have a feast to celebrate. We have been in a world of quarantine for a year already. Am I right? And a lot of fears come out of our head during this pandemic. And I understand how you feel because I was in a similar situation back then. When my beloved mother and I had to leave Metz to go to Paris, fear crept in me. It was because I didn't want to be separated from my faithful companion and brother, Louis, and my father. Life went on and my mother continued her deep concern for the poor and tended to poor families. I often accompanied her visiting those poor families in need. She was a frontliner. More fear crept in me when my mother got sick of cholera and died after a few hours of illness. And I thank the Lord for helping me not let myself succumb in fear, but to move forward with courage. I realized that my mother did not let her fear stop her to truly life out the words of Jesus in the gospel. Today, come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. God made use of my fear to grow courage in me. I felt like I was in a dark room and trying to search for light or a way to go get out. But I just heard Jesus saying, Prends courage, c'est moi, n'aie pas peur. Et là, j'ai trouvé mon courage. My dear students, teacher and staff, are there times when you feel like fear creeps in you and you just do not know what to do? Or it stops you from doing good and reaching out to others? Share about your experience of fear. How can you let the Lord help you to take courage and reach out to the other? Or will you show care to those who, like us, are afraid to?